audience content we've been noticing. I'm just going to define that for you. I've said it so many times, but let's just have a definition. So content repurposing is finding creative ways to communicate your message in different formats and in different locations so you can reach and connect with more people. I have a podcast. Podcasts are a fantastic form of content, great for reaching people, connecting with people. And when I put out my podcast episodes, I can reach all of my target audience, or at least I've thought, and then I heard the sad news that only three in 10 people regularly listen to podcasts. So this is based on Edison Research, a UK and US audience, and this is regularly. So on a weekly basis, three in 10 people are listening to podcasts. So maybe I'm not reaching as many people as I've thought by podcast alone. Or for example, blogging. So blogging, you know, great form of content. People do still love to read despite all the other media out there. But did you know that 82% of consumer internet traffic is online video? So if you have an all-in blogging strategy, then this is quite a worrying statistic in terms of have any video content as well, because this is what people are looking to consume online. In a startup, you've got to do lots of planning. You've got to do financial projections and have all of your strategy and your plans in place. But you also have to be very nimble and you have to be agile and you have to be responsive and be able to change things quickly. Content is a lot like that. Content repurposing is because you want to plan your content in advance and you want to have these pillar pieces of content and the strategy for exactly how you're going to repurpose them. But also, I think you just have to have that keen eye and be quick and nimble and agile to repurpose content sometimes that wasn't planned but be able to spot the potential in that content and see what you can do with it every single platform is a people are there for different reasons and people expect to consume content in different ways so you are always going to be having content for say linkedin that will be slightly different to the content that you would put on tiktok that would be different to the content on your website perhaps and so on so Always repurpose with the platforms in mind. It's not um, just a kind of rinse and repeat on this platform, that platform, but that video needs to be specific for Instagram. That needs to be specific for TikTok, etc. So repurpose and respect every single platform. Repurposing truly does start at the planning phase, like sitting down and working out what is this content going to become before you've even created it. And you'll definitely find that, that you content, you create your content differently if you know what it's going to be repurposed into. For example, you might build segments into your content and then you'll know that that segment is always going to come out and go on Instagram or that segment it will always come out and become a LinkedIn post, etc. So if you know what your content is going to become, you'll create it slightly differently and it will make repurposing a breeze. 